Okay, here we're gonna make some galaxy paper inspired by the fabric and leggings that I did recently. I decided to see if we could do it on paper and I did some Googling and nobody's done this exactly the way I'm going to, not that I could find. So we have some standard heavy duty construction paper from Target. We're gonna crumple it up and stick it in this plastic bin and pour some bleach gel on it. Now use bleach gel, um, because not a regular bleach because it's too watery and it's going to bleach it too much and get it too wet. Um, you are putting a liquid on paper so it's going to weaken it and you want to be gentle and don't be a gorilla. Make sure you have gloves and an apron and maybe even some eye protection. This is not something you should do with children, this part anyway. Uh, take the paper out to a sink. We're in my old studio garage sink, can you tell? Ick. <laughs> and we're going to open up the paper pieces gently and rinse all the bleach off. Now you can see that the bleach does weaken the paper a lot and there's a tear there. Um, some of the colors in this Target heavy duty paper pad I noticed did that more than other others. I'm not sure why, um, but we have a solution for that that's coming up. So just be gentle with it. Remember you're getting these paper pieces of paper really wet. So if you're not gentle with it, it's gonna just fall apart. But you wanna rinse the bleach off and put them on a cookie sheet like you see there and let them dry. Now you can see all the rips and little tears and the papers are dry. We're gonna reinforce the paper before we do anything by gluing it down to some deli paper. Um, I wanna keep the paper thinner and not, um, and manip being able to be manipulated. So maybe I want to someday put them on a journal cover or something. I, if they're glued to chipboard, I can't do that. So I wanna keep it um, light and easy. So I'm gonna use deli paper. I just wanna strengthen the paper a little bit. So that's decoupage, um, deco art, deco page in matte. And I'm going to stick, use that to stick the um, construction paper to the deli paper, starting from the center out with a gift card, push the, deli, the construction paper into the deli paper, being gentle and pushing all the little pieces of the rips and tears down so all the little bits are glued down. And by the time you're done, those little rips and tears are barely able to be seen. And look at the beautiful, beautiful colors that you get on the paper. Make sure you turn it over, and again, working from the center out, make sure all the edges are stuck down. If you still have some corners that aren't quite stuck, put some more glue there, like I'm doing here, and run your gift card around until you get everything good and stuck down, and take a few minutes to really make sure it's really stuck well. You'll be happy in the end that you did this, and I do this with all the pieces of paper that I do this way. And you can do this technique with any color of construction paper. It doesn't just have to be black. Um, I've done it with every color that's in the pad that I bought. And like I said, it was a Target Up and Up brand heavy duty construction paper pad from the kids art aisle. And uh, I think some of my favorite ones were ones that were not black. And I will, I do a little bit of a flip of the different ones at the end. Um, the black, for some reason, I had almost no um, issues with any of the black ones tearing that I've done. Um, mostly the lighter colors tore, so I don't know why that is. It must be something about how that about how they dye the, those colors of paper. But just be careful; you are getting something very wet that's not intended to get wet. So, and again, this part you know you might want to do before you get the kids involved do all this part the bleaching and the gluing to deli paper do all this part ahead of time if you're going to do this with kids don't let the kids help you with this part the next part they can help you with the next part's the fun part all right set them aside and let them dry and then we're get some paints out and some brushes and we'll be right back okay here we are and we've got a few different colors we've got um, a small stippling brush, a large stippling brush, and a round brush, and I've got a little plastic cup and some craft paints. Now in the description below, I'm going to just give you a list of all the paints I have in my collection. I'll tell you what colors I use for the page I'm going to demo here, but I've done a lot of these pages and every single one I've done I've used a few different colors on. Um, I try to pick a light, medium, dar and dark of a main shade. Then I pick a secondary shade and I pick a light and a dark at least of the secondary shade. If I have a light, medium and dark, then I pick those. And you can see here, I um, decide on blue and purple, which seems to be my standard color theme. 
I use about six colors and then black and white and then sometimes I'll add in a neon and I do add a neon in on here I add a neon pink and like I said I will give you a list of the colors in the description below but I've got three shades of purple there and three shades blue basically and I put small amounts of them out on my plate in order from light to dark all the way around in a circle semicircle with black in the middle we don't use the white right now we set the white aside And the black is too, um, and I see neon, I decide on a neon, a neon pink. Um, the black is to help us in um, altering our background a little bit to make it look more galaxy-like. Um, sometimes when you do this, you get um, too much paint or there's too much bleaching. So we are taking a little bit of paint and scrubbing it in with a stippling brush, getting our brush wet with a little bit of water and helping letting that help us spread the paint around and I'm just using a circular scrubbing motion and I'm letting the bleach patterns that we created um, aid me in where these light colors go and give me an idea of where they should go I'm not looking to cover them up completely because I want them to help me um, suggest a galaxy in the end they do add a lot to the wispiness of the finished piece and I work my way from the lightest blue to the darkest blue then I go back to the light colors and I start with the lightest purple and work my way to the darkest purple and then sometimes I go back and add a little bit more of the first color the light blue whatever the light first color was in this case light blue and I'm starting with the color the light color in the middle and then on the outside of that I put the medium and then on the outside of that I put the dark and I'm using the water and scrubbing motion to blend all the colors into each other to thin the paint out a little bit so I can still see the bleach marks through the paint here I'm adding the purple in and I'm putting the purple in next to the light blue And then I'm adding the medium purple in and I'm doing the same thing that I did with the blue and I'm putting them really right on top of each other in some cases and let you know just grabbing water getting my stippling brush wet and grabbing water blotting it off on a towel you can kind of see a towel a rag there at the top of the screen just a circular scrubbing motion. I like this particular big fat stippling brush. Now sometimes when you do this I get so busy blending the colors and putting the colors on that I forget to leave anything black. <laughs> so, or there's not enough black from the bleach. So I, that's what the black is for. So here I put some black on there and then I am using water to thin it out a little bit and blend it in and to not only darken the background and, and darken the the the, uh, the galaxy painting in some cases um, but to also calm down some of those bleach patterns in places where I maybe got too much bleach patterns and they're distracting from what I want the finished piece to look like so now I'm going to take the small stippling brush and a little bit of the light paint and I'm going to just dab on and leave these particular kind of streaky marks on there. I'm going to blend some of them, but for the most part, I'm not going to. Um, that helps me suggest kind of our nebula and our stars and kind of gives it a wisp wispy, foggy look um, to our galaxy. And so I'm going to do it with the light blue in a few different spots. And then I'm going to go in. I'm not going to really wash my brush off. I'm going to go in with the the fluorescent pink and I'm going to add some of that in and that just really starts to make it pop and really make it look interesting like an interesting you know wispy kind of nebula thing I don't even really know what a nebula is but it looks gal gal like a galaxy to me um, very abstract I think but it gives it a pop really makes it pop and then once you get that done then we get to break out the white so we're going to take some of our white into our dish just a little bit and then we're going to um, water it down so we're going to add some water to it 
mix it up really well and then literally you're going to splatter it on the page i know that's scary but you're going to just splatter it on the page you're going to take some of those splatters and some more of the white paint and water and we're going to blend them out like we did with the pink and the blue and we're going to give it like a little bit of a foggy thing with the white paint and we're going to use the kind of bigger uh, blobs and bigger splatters wherever they happen to land um, and we're going to use those as a suggestion of where we should put these kind of wispy foggy suggestions. You're going to use some water to blend it out so it looks really thin and suggestive. And you can do this as much or as little as you want. You'll really have to play with it, but it, this is what really makes it start to come together. And then I actually yep yeah, do it again you can do this as many times as you want and you can darken up the dots that you don't uh, blend out uh, with if you wanted to I don't do it here but you could add a white gel pen um, I actually add a little more white paint to my watery mixture to make it thicker and then do some more darker dots and I love the way that looks, so there we go. So now I'm going to show you a few other pages that I've done in the same, using the same technique. There's a close-up. I've done them with different colors of the construction paper. We've got a blue one. It's another, that's a green one. There's the red. That's another black. That's a yellow, I think. Brown. So they all are really super interesting, different colors of construction paper, different colors of paint. Have fun, play, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Have fun painting galaxies. All right, that's it for today. I'll talk to you later.